A very good morning from Munich. Hello everyone, myself Shonak Nandi. I'm a master's student at the Technical University of Munich pursuing biomedical engineering and medical physics. I joined in the year 2021 April, that is summer semester, and right now I'm in my second semester. I completed my Bachelor's of Technology in the year 2017 in the field of Biomedical Engineering from JIS College of Engineering. And thereafter, I pursued my career as a field service engineer in the healthcare domain for almost four years. And I came to Germany to pursue my dreams. So yes, I am right now going to share one of the day in my life. I hope you guys enjoy. Coming to Munich was a sudden decision because I received the admission letter really late and uh, thereafter I started my apartment search and that was a mistake because like getting a proper apartment in Munich is a real big deal and you won't get a proper apartment unless you start your search at least six months before and if you are really strict on your budget then then it's really difficult to stay in proper city center and uh, rent goes really high around 500 to 600 in the city center even even uh, more uh, i have seen that's why i have uh, decided to like I, I decided at that time to stay away from munich so it's around 40 minutes from proper munich city center and i pay around 350 euros rent and it has an additional task, which is called Wohnen for Hilfe. So what I have to do, I have to take care of few things, which is specified by the landlord. And after that, I would get to stay here. So this is his own house and I got one room. It's a 13 square meter room. And apart from that, I can use the living room, the kitchen and everything. So like the additional tasks which were specified in the adver advertisement was like uh, I have to take care of the cat and the plants. And since I am really fond of animals, I thought that yes, this is a good deal for me. I emailed them and thereafter I had to attend three interviews after which they confirmed me the place. And yes, here I am. I am really happy with them because uh, they are also contented with my behavior and stuff. They are really fond of Indian dish. So I am thankful that I can cook. <laughs> and uh, like uh, they, I, I stay here like a, a family because uh, I attended one like a fest where I represented the Indian uh, cuisine. So I had to cook one Indian cuisine and yes, everybody loved it here. So it was a really a good feeling for me. Yeah, uh, I, I should say that you should always learn something or the other, how to cook. You don't know when you would be like asked to represent uh, your own country or your own nation. So yeah, I really loved that. Speaking of apartment search made me realize that yes, you should at least start six months earlier for big cities because it's really difficult to get a place in the student dorm and for big cities the rents are really on the higher side and if you are really tight on your budget then the best thing is you plan early so yeah for my case it's it was really different and uh, the one thing which i saw in common like the Germans or maybe in every case you should always specify your hobbies because they really look up to that that what hobbies you have and uh, how they would benefit themselves from you and if your hobbies match then I think it's a good deal to stay together because while staying together you learn from each other and if you don't have the same hobby then it's really not enjoyable and uh, yeah since we had the same hobbies like I loved animals they also loved animals 
I love to play music and they also love to play music. So our interests matched and that's why we are staying, we can, we can stay together. I think it's a, uh, it's the best thing that if you plan, you should have your own plans sorted that we, uh, your own timeline that what to do in which time and uh, while sending the sending the application i would suggest you to equally search for the apartments and take a view of the apartments that if if you get the admission letter what would you do then you would be really on at on the advanced side or rather i would say that you would always be prepared while coming to germany and uh, you won't have to like uh, search here and there abruptly like uh, where to go and what to do so yes planning is really important which in my case i didn't quite do it but yes it's okay like uh, i learned after coming here so now i'm going to prepare my breakfast so normally i prefer to have bread and cheese or maybe noodles but when I, when i have less time i really prefer this one like it's a it's like a sliced cheese and you just put it in my put, put it in the toaster and then you can just have it so yeah it's time saving and it's uh, healthy so let me show you my room this is my room you can see two guitars this is my bed and this is my desk and the room is pretty much covered with plants here you can show you two small cactus this is aloe vera and yeah some photos and this is the desk i work on see my saraswati ma yeah at times i prefer like not always at times i prefer to work not on the desk but like at times on the bed it's really comfortable you know and let me show you my wardrobe here i keep my dress and the below are for food stuff yeah that's it now i'll show you the sports room So this is the sports room and uh, at times we play table tennis here. This is the glass house. Let's go inside. I'll show you. Here you can see it's bigger than my hand. <laughs> my landlord is really uh, fond of gardening. Here you can see so many tools. And this is the water. Uh, this is a chemically treated like uh, not using chemicals but it's using microbes which is good for the plants like he explained it's totally like a biologically favorable greenhouse <laughs> So this is a typical uh, Christmas creation for Christmas. Here you can see it's beautiful. So I'm cooking right now. I'll prepare a typical Indian dish. It's uh, called alu dam. So here I have just fried the potatoes. Like I have first boiled it and then I fried the potatoes and now I'm making the gravy. And uh, I have rice, so I have it with rice and dal, which I already had cooked yesterday. So usually I'm really fond of cooking, and that's why, like, I spent some good amount of time in experimenting because uh, what should I say that 
I am here and I have to know how to cook and I don't like monotonous food you can say so that's why I keep experimenting okay what's good what's bad what should happen if I do this if I give more of this one more of that one so yeah so I quickly checked one recipe at the YouTube and right now I am a little bit experimenting with the food so usually I don't spend uh, more than one and a half hours in the kitchen because uh, I have classes as well so uh, I make sure that when I cook I cook it for at least three meals or four meals so that it's time saving and uh, I get all the four meals, healthy meals. So yeah, I, I always make sure that. Completed preparing my lunch right now. And I'll have my lunch and then I'll just head towards my university because I have a practical, like I told you earlier. Okay, so see you then. Munich and I started from here and then I went from here here from Ostranov then from Ostranov to Marienplatz and from Marienplatz uh, here so yeah you can see it's pretty much a great distance and here you can also see it's a there are six rings, so this is the central called the M zone. Here you can see it's M zone, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So in Munich, there are total six circles like this, and pretty much everything is covered in the M zone. Like I told, that M zone is really expensive, and the more rings you cover, the lesser your cost of living goes. So, yeah cost of living I think uh, it's mainly regarding the rent so this is a small imbis where people just uh, grab a quick lunch or so and this is my biomedical department I can, I'll show you from the front so here there are three shops and you can quickly grab a lunch or bread or noodles and this is the Munich Institute of Biomedical Engineering so the course I'm studying is Biomedical Engineering and Medical Physics which comes under two departments one is the Department of Physics and one is the Department of like Munich Institute of Biomedical Engineering so you can choose your desired track so that's a good thing so either you can research on medical uh, like medical physics or biomedical engineering or or there is a big uh, what should I say there is a big advantage that you can always choose your desired courses so they have given you plenty of freedom in choosing courses interdisciplinary related to your department anything so like they will have for in my case there are like 10 credits only which you have to complete in two semesters along with German so I did it so I completed my German in my first semester itself 
and right now I'm taking B1.2 and it's uh, completely based out of my interest and my learning but uh, I when I came from India I completed my A2 and here I completed B1.1 and uh, out of the mandatory modules I completed five credits and this semester I've taken another five credits so by this semester my mandatory modules will be over and then I can choose my desired courses then I can choose which under which supervisor I want to do my thesis or internship or if I'm planning for an industrial internship I'll look into that later but right now I think it's a great opportunity for you all and for the students to just explore in which division they want to explore and uh, yeah welcome to tomb i have to work right now so i'll see you guys in the evening bye i just completed my lab and right now it's around six o'clock in the evening so yes there are certain labs it's not regular but maybe at times they provide some slots and you have to book it and due to covid situation not all the people are attending at the same time so they are doing some slot basis so we have to register it on a particular time so i got this time and now i'm done with my lab and now I'll head towards my home. So yes, so before getting up on the metro, like the Uban, I'll quickly have a bread which I got from my home because uh, not all the time you will find the canteens or rather which I showed you before that the imbis you cannot find the imbis open all the time so yeah i'll quickly have my bread and then i'll board the oban So I decided to go to the Indian shop because I realized that I have something to buy. So yes, let's go to the Indian market. So uh, I just completed the shopping. Like it was a little shopping because I already went to a supermarket the day before yesterday and on Saturday yeah so yeah I completed most of the shopping but uh, I still need to buy some stuff which are only available in the Indian market just Indian things so yes now I'll go to Ostbahnhof and then I'll take the regional bahn to my station like Aslin. I just completed my dinner and right now I'm having the Nachspeise. So in Germany it's a tradition that uh, after every uh, like a lunch or a dinner you will have a Nachspeise which is usually a sweet or maybe a dessert or maybe a cake. So right now I'm having a chocolate cake. I baked this cake with the help of my landlord and landlady and they are really kind to me and uh, I would just like to suggest to you guys that you should be open to every culture and like 
I am open to every culture so that's why I have learned so many things after coming here one thing they told me that you should always believe in yourself because whatever you have achieved so far you have done it all by yourself of without your belief it was not even possible so that's why i would say that what if you ever feel demotivated just think that yes you can do it because i really uh had to wait for 4 years to come to germany i worked for almost 4 years after after that i actually uh, managed myself to uh, reach this country so yes you many of the students have their uh, different stories so yeah this is my story because if you think like that that uh, you are having a bad time but you should always think that after bad time there will be a good time so whatever be the case if you ever feel like things are not going in your way you just need to maybe walk if you think that you were running you just need to slow down your pace and you need to walk so that's the main thing otherwise there will be a possibility that you fall down again i won't say much philosophical things but i will always say that if you ever feel demotivated just focus on yourself and let time do the thing so it's all about the time everything will go in a proper manner and so hmm the cake is really good by the way i'll show you one somehow meet my friend his name is swaggy and he adopted me really you just need to get yourself adopted by a cat because they are so difficult to manage and he loves me i think yes so uh, the one thing i was telling that stay motivated and everything will be falling on its own pace i think Yeah this was it guys i hope you enjoyed the day with me so yes like not every day goes the same for me because i don't have my lectures every day and at times uh, i prefer to attend my lectures online because uh, right now it's taking place in a hybrid manner like i can attend in presence or i can prefer to attend it online and i have also the option to revisit my lectures again so yes like uh, i would like to suggest one thing that after you start studying i would recommend you to join a study group or maybe perform the assignments together because group work helps you a lot it saves your time and you get an opportunity to work in a team and uh, like work on a specific deadline together and like culture new ideas and find out new ways to complete the assignment so it has been really fun and really effective for me so yeah i would like you all to try it out i i think many of you are already doing it and yes just come and explore I'll see you guys later and bye bye